Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. So on today's build, we're going to be building a variation of the panel clamps that I did previously. This one is just a stack of them so I can do six at a time. Just because I do a lot of cutting boards and stuff like that, so being able to glue up multiple panels at one time is just a big help. So I hope you enjoy this video and I will talk to you at the end. These are all the pieces. Well, not all of them. I need some more of these, but I ran out of five quarter or five eighths round stock. I went to go get some more, but that is all the pieces. Now it's just time to drill a million holes. All right, I got this little jig set up to drill this buttload of holes. Um, there's 92 of these bars and I need to drill four holes in each bar, two with this, then two with this. So what is that? That is, that is 368, I believe. 368 holes I gotta drill, so I made a little jig to make it go a little bit faster. So the way it's gonna work is just gonna push your bar in right there, drill. Once you have that hole drilled, you're just gonna come back over here put it on this little peg and then drill your next hole and then you're done that'll ensure all the holes are equally spaced so the this bar is pulling equally on this hole and this hole on all four bars in a single clamp probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense now but I'll try and explain it later once I have the clamps put together so, time to get started. Took like three and a half hours, but it's done. And I have to say, I got this little step metal bit on Amazon. And like any cheap thing you buy from Amazon, my holes weren't that high. I thought they were gonna fail and you know, I'd get a couple holes out of it. But no, oh, I got I got like 120 out of them. And it's still going strong, so I was pretty surprised. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description if you need want to get one over here ever in the need of one so now I did all that I get to make a whole bunch of these I have a bunch of washes on my metal rod that'll take a while as well really hope this audio turned out been almost a tropical storm and I have a metal roof I don't even know if you can hear me well I'm gonna get started on uh, building this crap up
So, I think this is a good proof of concept. It's working great. It got bound up a little bit at first. I think uh, in this first side that I did, I had the amperage too high, so I was melting through this little sleeve and getting the threaded rod a little bit. But it wasn't at too much. I just broke it off with the impact gun like you saw. On this other side, I lowered the amperage and it caused no problem whatsoever. But one thing I realized was that I had did have not drilled the holes to mount either a piece of plastic or wood, something to protect the surface from this the metal. Because much like how I did with these, put a piece of plastic on so that the glue when the glue interacts with metal, it leaves a really nasty stain on the wood. So I need to put something here so it doesn't happen on the edges when I clamp. But I don't know what I'll put on there. I'm thinking I'm just going to do some regular wood and then hope no glue gets on it. But um, the, I don't think this little quarter inch piece of plastic is good enough because that's where all the, the big pressure is going to be is right there on the edge. So I think I'm going to stick with the wood unless I can find some half inch thick plastic that isn't too ridiculously expensive. But in order to do any of that, I need to have mounting holes. So I think I am going to go ahead and drill a bunch of holes in these first before I continue welding these. So I got all the holes drilled, but I decided to change the design slightly. Right here, as it goes, all the pressure is going to be put in this one spot because this threaded rod is what's going to get pushing all the pressure this way. And right now it's concentrated in this little bit. So for the rest of these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead of welding the nut right there, I'm going to weld it up here. So it pushes down the sleeve and then out more towards the edges. I'm also going to go, once it's all done, hit this with a hammer so it has a slight convex shape to it. And that'll help distribute the pressure out to the edges and so it won't be centered right there. I think that if I do that, this thing's gonna work perfectly, although I'm over this project. It has taken way longer than I thought it would, but coming towards the home stretch, so let's just get it done.
So this turned out pretty good. I haven't completely finished it because I really needed to get started on a custom order I had. 400 cutting boards, and it's kind of why I made this. It's based off my previous video, which I'll link in the description down below, about some panel clamps I did. They turned out pretty good. These were a vast improvement for multiple panel, panel glue ups. The only issue that I have so far, and I've used it a bunch of times, I think I'm at 390 uh, cutting boards. So I've used this a bunch so far, is that these threads don't seem to be able to hold up to the repeated usage. I've had one on the bottom stop working on me and they gummed up a couple times, but they're, they're still going to go for a long time yet, but I'm going to want to upgrade these. So I'm not going to finish welding on some more washers right here to hold everything in place until I got that upgraded. I'm going to use some Acme thread. They just allow a little bit more pressure to be put on to the workpiece and they have a little bit more durability. Other than that, this thing has worked like a champ and I don't know how I would have been able to get those 400 cutting boards done without this. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, again, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you could hit the thumbs up button or maybe subscribe, it helped me grow the channel a lot and I would greatly appreciate it.